Hey guys, what's up Cancer? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. And if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, um, you can check out my Etsy shop or you can send me an email. I got the devil at the bottom in the Ace of Cups. Now you could be dealing with the Capricorn, and there could be new beginnings. Other than that, something may be a little bit difficult. All right, so immediate future for Cancer. What's coming up, please? Straight off the bat. Starting with the Seven of Swords. Oh, fuck. All right. Um, you got the Seven of Swords, the Lovers, the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, Remember, it's a general reading. This is somebody who's got options, choices in a third-party situation. Somebody who may not be completely honest right now. Maybe one foot in, one foot out. But just with these two energies that we're starting with, this is a, a situation where there could be a third party or, I mean, there's an external factor blocking things. It looked like there were some serious changes going on around like a friendship or relationship, something like that during the shuffle. Show me the Seven of Swords for Cancer. So with the Seven of Swords, that can be liar, cheater, thief energy. You got the Six of Wands. This is somebody who's making a plan. Show me that Seven of Swords, please. Oh, shit. Yeah, you got the moon there. This is what fell. All right, fuck. What this is right here is a whole lot of BS. There, you got the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. There is so many things going on right here. There's jealousy, somebody ghosting. Um, there's secrets. You got the Moon, the Five of Pentacles. Somebody could have ghosted, went silent. Somebody could have even like, this can even be theft. But there was jealousy around something here. And it's like somebody, somebody freaking ghosted. With these two cards, this is... When at all costs, liar to your thief. You got the moon, Cancer, Pisces, energy. So that could be your energy, but it could also um, come across as secrets. Goodness, there's a lot going on here. This energy right here is somebody ghosting. It can also be theft, but it looks like somebody ghosted. Somehow there's jealousy around this. Somebody just went silent. Still not sure how jealousy fits in. Um, but you have both lying cards there. Remember, don't take it if it's not yours, but somebody's got some, I don't got these all out of order. Somebody's not being very honest. Show me this, uh, and no judgment for me if that's you. I'm just reading the cards. Show me the lovers, please. For cancer. So the lovers is coming in as the obstacle. It is Gemini energy, but with the lovers, I mean, there can always be a third energy that comes in between things. Thank you. The devil. Yeah, there can be a codependency here, a codependent relationship, or even like uh, addictions or something like that involved. But with the devil here, Capricorn energy, this could be something that kind of just keeps on going and keeps on going. It's been happening. I see the king of wands. Somebody could even have like a sexual addiction here. You could be dealing with the fire sign. But this also can be somebody who has a hell of an attitude problem. Like sometimes could even get physically abusive in this situation. But with this type of energy, um, also like pride and ego comes into play a lot. With this energy. So it's like with the masculine doesn't have to be though. Could be like I said a sexual dependency. But also could be like mm -hmm. a lot of attitude, ego, pride, lust. 
So show me the outcome with the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles here for the outcome. The Queen of Pentacles is Earth energy. However, the Queen of Pentacles in general can be like the rock, the one that holds it down, that kind of keeps things together. But I also see where that energy could be a little bit stubborn right now. Um, show me the outcome, please. So with the Two of Pentacles, it is kind of like one foot in, one foot out. There's a decision that's got to be made here. Oh, shit. Oh, we got the wheel for the outcome. That is fate and destiny, luck on your side. You got the nine of wands. As much as it's hard to say, it's almost like everything for a reason. Because with the wheel there, that is about destiny. And it leads to expansion and growth. Um, with the nine of wands there, I mean, you could be kind of blocking communication, but you got to be mindful of kind of like going down the same path again and again and again. Somebody here could have tied, like be a married individual or have like a family or ties somewhere else with the four of wands. But, um, the 10 of swords, it looks like this connection is coming to a close or a connection. And the reason I say a connection is because there's a third party situation here. There's an external factor. So it is leaving somebody feeling betrayed and that's leading to an ending. Damn, tough reading. Sorry about that. All right, Cancer, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.